interested in annihilating the competition and becoming the next god on YouTube. Yes, seriously, get out of my video. But let's say, for the sake of this video, you're sincerely interested in setting up your own gaming channel on YouTube. You're more than welcome to join me to take a look at what you need before starting a gaming channel. I'll first introduce myself. I'm Peaceful Panda, and sometimes the not so peaceful panda, according to my friends. And I started this channel together with my partner in crime, Was Up, roughly two years ago. And for those who are wondering, no, I'm not an actual panda, I was just born furry and fluffy. But that's besides the point. We're going to keep this video short and to the point so you can quickly get set up and start that YouTube channel. Which is why we only have two topics for today's video, which are why you should or shouldn't start a gaming channel and how to get set up in terms of what software to use. Any other topics like creating channel art, thumbnails, writing good titles and descriptions are for future videos. So let's start with the why, because this is the absolute base of what makes your channel matter in this oversaturated market that we call YouTube. YouTube, as of 2017 and maybe 2018, has about 46 million content creators. So you're not the only one, which you probably knew it already. I'm going to use the golden circle, a principle set up by Simon Sinek, a marketing consultant, to explain why you should or shouldn't start a YouTube channel. The golden circle is generally used to explain what makes customers buy into a company. For our example, your channel is the company and your audience are your customers, of course. You essentially want to sell your product, your YouTube videos, to your audience. The circle is divided into three smaller circles, what, how, and why. The what is your product, what you make, in this case, these are your videos. The how is how you make your videos, thinking of how you edit your videos or what you do in terms of commentary or gameplay. And at the core of the circle, there is the why, the purpose behind it, the message behind it, the reason that you're doing this. And this doesn't mean make a profit because that's a result. Everyone wants to earn money, of course. But why does your channel exist and why should anyone care about it? That's the why. I'll give you an example. Most people would say something along the lines of My channel makes great guides on Tom Clancy's Division. They're funny to watch and inform you about the game at the same time. Want to watch my video? It's quite boring, right? It doesn't really invite you to watch someone's video or subscribe to someone's channel. What an inspired person would say is something like this. In every guide I make on Tom Clancy's The Division, I'll show you how to be the best and you should be one step ahead of the competition at all times. The way I'm doing that is by making my guides beautifully designed, well laid out, and have information simple and ready to go. I just happen to make great guides. Wanna watch my video now? If you said no, you're an asshole. Of course, this depends on your interest in the division, but the second message is way more interesting, right? People don't watch what you make, but they watch why you make the videos. Knowing why should arguably result in knowing what videos you would like to make as well. These can be live commentary over gameplay, scripted guides with gameplay and an infographic design, or even reviews. The options are endless, so give this some thought and keep in mind that you don't have to know exactly what you want because you can experiment along the way. For the sake of keeping this video short and simple, I won't go into it further, but check out Simon Sinek's TED Talk if you want because he explains it so much better than me. I just kind of tried to apply it to our situation, to YouTube. I've linked it in the description and the comments. After knowing why and what you will make, the question remains, how will you make these videos? This can be quite tough as a starter because you maybe don't have a lot of software and money to buy other software. This depends on the video that you're making, but we'll recommend the basics in terms of software. First, you need some form of video recording software to record your gameplay, of course. We use NVIDIA Shadowplay on our channel. A free alternative could be OBS. This allows you to live stream as well if you want that. Besides this, you need some form of video editing software. Edit video footage, color grade it, etc, etc. Whatever you want with it, you need to edit it at some point. We use Adobe Premiere, but we realize not everyone has the money for such a program. 
Another program I found online that's free is called OpenShot. I haven't used it myself, but it's supposed to be great. For starters, it's easy to use and most of all, it's free. Thirdly, you want some sort of audio recording and editing software. This depends on the type of video you're making, but we use it to record and edit our voice. And this is of course only when you're doing a commentary. If you're doing videos without commentary, you don't necessarily need this, but it's always nice to have. We used Adobe Audition. A free alternative would be Audacity. Besides that, you might want to have some form of text editing software to write scripts or make bullet point lists for your videos. This again depends on if you're doing commentary or want to use this for some something else. Bullet points can also be made on paper, of course. We use Microsoft Word 2016, but everyone has some form of text editing software on their computer in the form of WordPad or WordNote. And lastly, the thing software I would recommend is photo editing software. Because for your videos, you're going to need to make thumbnails, maybe video overlays. This depends again on what kind of video you're making. I make a lot of guides, so I make a lot of video overlays. And you might want to create your own channel art in terms of a profile picture or a banner. And that's what you're going to need a photo editing software for. I use Adobe Photoshop. I've been using it for a couple of years. I love it. A free alternative would be GIMP. Look at what you need for your type of content because it's specific to you as an individual, of course, and your channel and download the relevant software. Not everyone's going to need text editing software. Not everyone's going to need audio recording and editing software. Things most of you are going to need is video recording and editing software and some sort of photo editing software. What? Is that the end of the video already? You bet your ass it is. To keep it short and to the point, we're not talking about upload schedules, video optimization, thumbnails or any of that stuff. That's for future videos. Those are quite specific subjects as well, so not for this video. But before I'm ending this video, I want to share the link to the Masterminds Discord. That's our Discord. We have a specific chat for content creators where we will help you with any questions that you have regarding YouTube and everything that surrounds it. Also, you can use this to collaborate with us or other content creators that are in there. One thing I want to know before I end the video though is why would you want to start a gaming channel? Comment down below and I'll react to it. Till next time, peace out.